Hi everyone, as most of you know, I live, travel, and game out of my van. However, in today's video, Millie and I are going on a unique camping adventure. Lately, I've been wanting to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and go tent camping, and I feel like today is that day. And I have a feeling it's gonna be a really fun adventure. We're gonna make some good food, sit around a cozy campfire in the middle of a beautiful forest, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, so make sure you follow along. And this video is brought to you by Anchor. They sent me their brand new Anchor Solix C1000 portable power bank, and I am really excited to use this thing. Because when I'm staying in my van, I have the luxury of using my off-grid electrical system inside my van to power my gaming PC, my lights, my fridge, and all that. But when I go camping in a tent like this, it's a lot harder to get power. But using this thing is gonna make that a whole lot easier and a lot more fun. And we'll get more into the specs about this power bank later on in the video. For now, we've got an hour drive to our campsite. And while we drive, I'm gonna start charging this thing up with the cigarette lighter charging cable. I can just plug it into my van here and then plug the cable right into the side of the power bank. Turn my van on. And now we're getting topped off with power. And within 58 minutes of charging, this thing will go from 0% to 100% charge, which is crazy. All right, let's hit the road. All right, folks, I have arrived to the campsite and I've even already set up my tent for the night. And I actually recorded the whole process of me arriving here, setting up my tent, but of course my camera decided to not record any audio during any of that. So I guess I'll just include a quick little montage here of me setting up the tent. This was the first time that I've ever set up this tent, so it was quite the learning curve for me, but I finally got it set up and it looks pretty freaking cool out there. But man, it is toasty here today. Last week it got down to like the 20s at night. Today it's like 85, sunny and hot. It's quite confusing. <laughs> but here's the campsite for tonight, folks. We are amongst these beautiful Georgia pines and we've got plenty of sky and sun, which is fantastic for solar power. Okay, so I got my solar panels hooked up, pointing directly at the sun here, and I've got a line from the solar panels running into the tent to the power bank. And this power bank supports up to 600 watts of solar panels. I only have, I think, 150, I believe, but with 600 watts hooked up to that, it can charge from zero to 100% in 1.8 hours, which means it charges 40% faster than most power banks with the same capacity. Oh wow, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Millie, look at our house for the night. Jump up. So the plan for this video is to not only play with and test out the new Anchor Solix C1000 power bank, but to also just enjoy the great outdoors from a new perspective. I've been camping out of my van for quite some time now, and I just wanted to change it up a little bit. So I'm really excited to stay in this tent and also have the portable power that I have to be able to bring my gaming and my lights and a little bit of my luxuries into the tent. But with that being said, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this video at all. I'm gonna power and plug up things that I would normally use in my van into this power bank and see how it performs throughout the night. And if it dies in the middle of the night, it dies and then I'm without power. But it looks like we've got about two and a half hours of sunlight left. So we need to start gathering some firewood and getting ready 
to cozy up in this cool little tent. All right, so here is home for the night. Oh, Millie, <laughs> you found your bed? <laughs> but we've got our bed here set up. I've got my two zippers open for some airflow right now. It's still a little hot in here, but when the sun goes down, it'll definitely cool off. But here is my electrical system for the night. <laughs> and I am powering off of the DC side, my GoPro batteries and charging my flashlight. And on the AC side of power, I am powering my two LED studio lights. There's one there and there is one here. And I like to use these lights for my videos as opposed to just like a headlamp because they put out a lot of light, which is really great for my camera. And because they put out a lot of light, they also use a lot of power. Not a tremendous amount of power because they're LED, but they do use a lot of power. So I'm interested to see how this power bank is gonna uphold all the power they draw. It's about 5.30, so I figured I'd start preparing to make dinner tonight. And what's on the menu for tonight is a staple in the camping community. It's your very stereotypical camping meal. I've got some broccoli, some onion, some potato, some kielbasa, and cheese and butter. And we're gonna chop all that up, wrap it up in some tin foil, throw it on some coals to cook, and then eat it.
This is such a nice night. After that hot, sweaty day, now that it's finally cooling off, I can relax. And this is my favorite part of the day, here. Oh, look at those birds. Right after the sun has set, the world gets really quiet. And the crickets start to come out. You start to hear the frogs. It's pretty magical. Oh yeah, that's done. Let's throw some cheese on it. All right, I doused it in shredded cheese. Now I'm gonna close it back up and just throw it on the fire real quick to let it melt a little bit. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see how this looks. Oh my gosh. This looks incredible. Look at all that cheese and the broccoli and the potatoes. Oh my gosh, the potatoes are cooked to perfection. Let me take a bite of this. My soul is so happy right now. This is so freaking good and it's so much food. If you guys are going on a camping adventure anytime soon, I highly recommend you make this meal here because it has changed my life tonight. <laughs> All right, so after charging a bunch of stuff using lights for a couple of hours now, we're only at 90%, which is pretty awesome. And right now with my light outside, this light here, I'm pulling 42 watts, which is pretty neat. So I am going to officially plug up Starlink so we can get some internet, and maybe do some gaming. So the real reason I'm camping in a tent tonight and not in my van is because I bought this tent with the intentions of hopefully doing some really extreme winter camping. This is actually a hot tent. And in this part of the tent right here is actually where the chimney of a wood burning stove would go. And I actually brought my wood burning stove with me today, but it is just way too warm to have that in the tent. So I opted for having a campfire outside tonight, but I really just wanted to do a trial run of my tent camping before I do a serious winter camping trip. But so far I'm really enjoying this. This is really cool. Dude, this is so sick. My inner child is having so much fun right now. When I was a kid, I would play in the woods all the time and make forts and wish I could take my computer out into my forts to play video games outside. Like that was my dream as a kid. Now here I am in a cool tent with an awesome power bank that's supplying power to my portable gaming PC. This is the future. This is, this is it folks. This is the future of gaming. <laughs> I don't know if I've said it, but this power bank has a 1,056 watt hour capacity and it's got an 1,800 wattage output, meaning you can supply 1,800 watts of power simultaneously to multiple different appliances. What's even crazier though, is you can actually expand the capacity on this thing with an expansion battery doubling the watt hour capacity to 2,112 watt hours. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so unfortunately i don't think my internet is stable enough right now to play anything like fortnite which is what i wanted to play there are way too many trees around here for a stable connection 
for that. So I think I'm just gonna play some Far Cry Primal, which seems very fitting considering I'm camping outside. All right, folks, it's about that time. I think I'm gonna throw something on Netflix here until I fall asleep, but I think that's it for tonight. Millie and I are off to bed. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, folks. <laughs> I slept pretty good. Honestly, owls that kept hooting 24 seven. <laughs> no, you're ready to get up. Okay, we're getting up. Go. Power banks at 53% after charging and powering everything last night. That's pretty great. It's not super chilly this morning, but it's slightly chilly and I forgot to bring my hoodie in the tent last night. All right, let's see if we can get a morning fire started. <laughs> Millie, where are you going with my stick? Give me that stick back. I need that for the fire. <laughs> you little brat. Give me that stick back. Give it to me. There she is. Good morning, son. How are you? It's good to see you again. It's always good to say hello to the sun. It greets you with warmth. You greet it with a nice hello. It's a mutual exchange. And wow, that sun feels amazing on my skin. What a great way to start your day with some nice, hearty vitamin D. Appreciate you, son. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make some breakfast and what's on the menu is something simple, but another good camping meal. Just some grits and some pimento cheese. And I'm gonna try and boil up some water on this fire here. Let's make some room, grab some of these coals here. I'm gonna place this right here. Okay, looks like it's boiling. Get ready to throw in the grits. All 
All right, now we just wait for that to cook up and then we're ready to feast. And while that cooks, might as well do a little bit of cleaning in here. Okay, folks, I'm breaking the fourth wall here. A lot of you guys ask how I get these POV shots, and this is it. You just strapped on my chest with a GoPro. And a lot of people think this is like some super expensive futuristic camera, but no, it's just a GoPro mounted to my chest. The more you know. Breaking the fourth wall. Oh yeah, that's done. Let's throw some pimento cheese in there. Spice it up a little bit. Throw some salt, pepper. Stir that sucker up. Let's move over here out of the smoke while we eat. Boom, nice little camping breakfast. Not super nutritious, but definitely delicious. But we've got our son pouring in, giving us some morning vitamin D. So life is pretty good. All right, let's give this good old fashioned taste test. Mmm, that pimento cheese adds so much flavor to this. This would be great with some bacon and eggs, but uh, I don't have a pan to use on the fire yet. I'm still slowly acquiring more camping gear, but maybe next time we'll do a more extravagant feast. But for now, this is pretty good. Let's go. Good girl. All right, folks, I think that's it for today's video. I had a lot of fun changing it up a little bit and camping out of a tent instead of my van. And hopefully you did too. 
But shout out to Anchor for sponsoring this video and sending me the new Anchor Solix C1000 portable power bank. If you want to pick up one of these for your next camping adventure or for your van life adventure, grab the Black Friday deal and get huge savings on the Anchor Solix C1000 portable power bank. And you can do so by tapping the link in the description of this video. But with that being said, I need to go find a shower because I feel absolutely filthy. So I'm off to my next adventure and I will see you guys in the next video.